a lot of shows from the 90s like really broke ground in important ways and all american girl is definitely one of those shows and like i feel like you've said in the past it's kind of like it laid the groundwork for fresh off the boat and even like black in many ways how do you think all american girl would be received like today if it was a show going on the air today like do you think the world is kind of ready for it now i think the world is ready for it i mean i think that um any kind of representation for people who have previously been unseen so that is asian americans that's certainly queer that's certainly anybody that we don't see and i mean i'm seeing so many more depictions of asian american lives which is really to me really exciting seems like hollywood is kind of getting to a place where we can tell like complex stories yeah i think what's happening now which is great is that we're moving past identity like now we're kind of done recognizing that we had to introduce ourselves there was like a generation where a lot of the stories were coming out stories there were stories about being uh the only person of color the only queer the only woman the only trans person the only whatever identity that is now we're getting past that where we're actually getting to tell our stories. So I think this is really a big shift. Now it's like we're past the 101 crap, hopefully. <laughs> I love that. And yeah. It's like we are in in the realm of culture, but then as we can see like just in terms of like walking out on the street every day, like you've talked about how like the Atlanta shootings were like targeting like older women and it's like scary. It's terrifying. Yeah, it's a hard heavy thing, but I think what it is is like I'm doing a lot of work now to uncover the historical cyclical patterns of racial violence. When America is in crisis, our Americanness comes into question. So this happens again and again. After the gold rush, it happened in the, you know, the largest mass lynching in 1871 in Chinatown here in Los Angeles. It happened with the Chinese Exclusion Act. It happened in the Japanese internment camps. It happened after Vietnam. It happened with the, the separation of the auto industry from like foreign autos to American autos where um, they were collapsing and it happened in the LA uprising and it's happening now with coronavirus. So you're constantly seeing these cyclical patterns of violence and in that it's odd, but in that is a kind of comfort to know that this is a cycle that can be broken. I think that now we're starting to understand the effect of systemic racism and how it's affected our ideas of what Asianness is, what blackness is, what otherness is. It's not just this, it's gay history, which goes very, very deep as well. And so there's so much to uh, learn. We have not been given a fair chance in school of learning all the stories that make up our nation. And uh, so we need to start doing that either ourselves or and and or trying to figure out how to get it to younger people. Well, thank you so much. This was a delight. Thank you.